When thinking about film noir backdrops, damp street corners, seedy clubs, shadowy alleyways, all enveloped with cigarette smoke typically come to mind. The gritty urban landscape goes hand in hand with the disreputable and pitiful characters. Storm Fear keeps the tragedy and violence of its noir counterparts, but trades the city in gumshoes for mountains and domestic turmoil. An unrelenting snowstorm, a bank robbery gone wrong, a loveless marriage pushed to the limit, forbidden love, and the kid caught in the middle of it all. Storm Fear is a hidden gem filmed in the gem state. Cornell Wilde's Charlie and his colorful accomplices, Benji and Edna, seek refuge in Fred's reclusive mountain homestead after a bank robbery that ends in bloodshed. Fourth member of the gang, wounded and captured by police, died during the night. Latest clues now make it certain the robbers are hiding near here, trapped by heavy snows. Fred is Charlie's mopey brother who neglects his wife Liz, Cornell's then wife Jean Wallace, and occasionally parents their 12-year-old son David. He also makes a great punching bag, apparently. <coughs> Benji is a 1930s gangster, 20 years too late. Give me your last thought, a big shot. You got us in the hole, you, you and your big deals. And Edna is a used-up drunk who's as lovable as she is disposable. <laughs> Most of the film revolves around the tense and strained relationships between the characters. Femme Fatale Liz had a thing with Charlie years ago, and that thing is definitely still something. Fred knows it, and the kid starts to figure it out. Benji plots and fumbles a double cross or two in order to escape with the loot. Edna does what she does best, anything to drink in the house, and lets us know what she does worst. For me and my true love will never meet again on the bunny bunny banks of Loch Lomond. As the drama escalates, the snowstorm intensifies and the radio news relays that the cops are closing in. Latest clues now make it certain the robbers are hiding near here, trapped by heavy snows between the Batterskill Highway and the... Cornell Wilde's directorial debut also has him starring and producing the film. He is stretched as thin as the budget, and it shows occasionally. Mr. Wilde gets a hand up from his writer Horton Foote, who later adapted To Kill a Mockingbird and Of Mice and Men for the Big Screen. Another heavy hitter, Elmer Bernstein, provides the thrilling score. The script, music, and filmmaking are tight, effective, and economical. Partially shot in scenic Sun Valley, which is a stand-in for New England? The landscape becomes a key player, especially around the third act. Prior to Storm Fear's release, Hollywood used Sun Valley as a playground for light-hearted musicals and romantic comedies. Seeing the familiar geography as a formidable foe standing in the way of fugitives on the lamb feels new and refreshing. Outside of the touristy areas, the terrain and weather are temperamental, especially in early spring, which is when the exteriors were shot. Although the exact filming location is unknown, the area around Sun Valley is wonderfully remote, and the nearly inhospitable backdrop fits well with the narrative. The critical reception from what little is available appears to be mixed. Film noir's popularity has started to wane at the time of its release, and some viewed Storm Fear's themes as a bit too heavy. A December 1955 review in the New York Times was lukewarm to Cornell Wilde's efforts. Perhaps Mr. Wilde the producer should have been a nice guy and suggest to Mr. Wilde the director that Mr. Wilde the actor doesn't come across as a heel. Ouch. Storm Fear is dark and overly melodramatic at times, but the narrative and performances sell a suspenseful tale chock full of intensity and intrigue. For a minute, you're no good. Now get out of here and take the rest of them with you. If nothing else, it proves that noir is bigger than the stock urban hellhole and Sun Valley is more than an idyllic resort town. Unfortunately, Storm Fear is an overlooked and largely forgotten genre film. Feeling adventurous and looking for a crime drama told from a different perspective? Brave the storm. (laughs) 